So on the Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire TV Cube, most people do struggle with storage. Now, if you install a couple of applications, do a couple of updates, you will find your available free storage just constantly being reduced. And before you know it, you start seeing errors like you are running low on space and potentially your device starts crashing. You start noticing more buffering issues. All of these are symptoms of low storage. Now you can expand the storage fairly easily, but probably the biggest issue you will have then is how do you move certain applications, particularly applications from the Amazon App Store, how can I move them over to my USB drive? Because you will see on most of them, for example, this uh, Disney Plus, when you click on it, there's no option to move this application directly to my USB drive. Or for example, this uh, Wi-Fi speed test application, again, there's no option to move this even once you have configured USB storage. So in this video today, let me show you how you can move every application that you can install from the Amazon App Store, from your third party websites, from any repository, how you can move them over directly from USB and run them from there. So really just freeing up your device and really giving you so much more storage. So I'm doing my demonstration on the second generation Fire TV Cube. And as I have a full size USB port on this device, I can just take a normal standard USB drive. I think the one I've plugged in there is 32 gig, plug that in and I can then start the process. If you want to follow this process on a Fire TV stick, 4K, 4K Max, one of those devices that doesn't have a full size USB port, you'd have to purchase an OTG adapter, which cost a couple of dollars, couple of pounds, and you can then use that to get that full size USB port and plug in a USB drive. Once you've done that, you can now follow the rest of the process in this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to the settings, go down into MiFi TV. Okay, let's do the first step, which is to format this drive as internal storage. So if I press the select button here, I can click on format to internal storage and it says here that select this option if, if you intend the Fire TV to use the app stored on this device. Once formatted, this USB drive can only be used by this Fire TV. And doing this process means that all of the content on the USB drive, if there was any, will be completely erased. Let's press the select button. Give that a second and that will then format this drive to internal storage. I'll then show you the behavior that when you try to install an application from the Amazon App Store, does that go to the internal storage or does it go to the USB drive? And for applications that are already on your internal storage, how can we move those applications over to this newly formatted USB drive? So I will be showing you both those steps in just a sec. And we can see it now says we have around about 30 gigs of free space. So let's now do that first test, which is if I go over to the Amazon App Store and I search for an application, let's just try this free one, Airy TV. Here it is, I can click on that. Let's now click on download. Let's see where this application will be downloaded to the previous internal storage or the brand new USB drive, which has that 30 gigs of free space. It's been a while since I did this. I'm actually not 100% sure, but let's see what happens. Okay, that's now been installed. We get the pop-up there. Let's now press the home button. Let's go back into the settings and then applications. Let's go to manage install applications. Give that a second we have airy tv and unfortunately i can tell you straight away this has actually installed to internal storage because typically the applications that are installed to the usb drive have a small usb icon next to it and this is really the crux of the issue that once you formatted the drive to be internal storage why do these new applications that you want to install go over to the internal storage instead of going over to the USB drive, which you've just configured? So very frustrating, but there is an easy fix on how we can resolve that. And the way I personally recommend resolving it is by using an application called Me Explorer. So let's install that now. Let's go back to my website. And to get this application, we can just type in a short code, which will take us straight there. And that code is 73867. Let's type that in. Eight six seven let's click on go i can now scroll down and let's click on the green download button and this will download this application which is an all-in-one file manager has some fantastic features including the ability to uh, configure a server on your device once you enable the server you can then access your device's internal storage to then push applications to pull applications from your phone from your pc from your laptop from your tablet all of that's available with this free application Let's open that up and we're now inside Me Explorer. So all we need to do now is find the application that you want to move over to the internal storage. And to do that, if we go over to the left, let's navigate down to where it says app. 
Let's click on that. Then my example, we need to move over every TV. So I can see every TV in the list. Let's now long press the select button. That becomes highlighted. I can then go to the top. I can click on this icon here, which is the two squares, which basically means copy. So I'm making a copy of this application. That's now done. If I now go back over to the left and click on internal storage, because we're going to paste this application in another folder. So, and that folder is the downloader folder. So scroll down into downloader, click on that. Now I can now go back to the top and click on this clipboard here, which is basically paste. So I can click here, press select again. And we can now see we have Airy TV in our internal storage inside the downloader folder. The only thing we need to do now is go back into our applications, click on that, find Airy TV in the list. Let's press the context key, which is one of the three lines, and click on uninstall. Click on uninstall again. So we now remove the application from our internal storage. Let's now go back to Me Explorer. And now when I click on Airy TV one more time, now I can now scroll down and click on the package installer, which is this icon here. So let's click on that and we get the prompt there. So this is basically just saying for the first time, you have to give permissions that you want to install applications through Me Explorer. So all I need to do, like you typically do with Downloader for the first time, I click on settings, click on install unknown apps. I'm just going to turn on the setting for Me Explorer. Let's turn on the setting for Me Explorer. That's now done. Let's go back. Let's now click on Aero TV again. And we can see straight away, it then prompts us to install it. Click on install. Takes a couple of seconds. And this now I'm hoping it should be installing directly to my USB drive. And we will verify that in just a second. So the app has now been installed. I can click on done. Let's now press the home button, go back to the settings. And now when I go over to applications, manage install applications. I'm hoping now when we see every TV, we now see this icon next to it. So this application now, this 48.77 meg application is being run directly from the USB storage. So we freed up all of the internal space, the internal storage, and we can now move these applications over to our newly formatted USB drive. I mean, really, I mean, ideally we should be able to go to these applications like you typically can on Android TV, click on them. And there should be an option here that, you know, move to USB drive, but there's just no option like that. I think the only option, I think the only application that has that option is our favorite K application. We can see we have the move to USB storage. So I really do wish that we had this on all the applications, but unfortunately Amazon in their infinite wisdom really have restricted on which applications have that built in, which is why we have to use this workaround. Let me just do one other application just to show you that the process is working. So here for example is FilmRise, which is another 20 meg in size. Click on that just to confirm that yep, there's no option to move it to internal storage. So I can press back. So again, we just open up Me Explorer. Let's click on app on the left. You can also click on user app here. This will then filter out the applications because we don't want to see the system apps anyway because they're the ones that you can't move. So I click on user app. I can now quickly find uh, FilmRise in the list. Here we are. So again, long press the select button, go over to the top, click on copy. Go over to the left, click on internal storage. Let's now find the downloader folder. Let's now paste it in here. Press select again. We can see that's now been pasted. Here it is. Now, before we install it, go into my applications and quickly uninstall this. Give that a second. Click on OK. That's now been uninstalled. And the final step, open up Me Explorer. Click on Film Rise, click on Install. And I'm hoping once this is done, we'll also be able to confirm that this is now running correctly from the USB drive. Let's give that a second. That's now done. I can click on Done, press the Home button, go back into Applications, Manage Install Applications. Let's see now, does Film Rise have this icon next to it? which shows us correctly that this application is now properly running from the USB drive. Of course, you can launch it just to confirm that it is working properly. And this way you'll see the option to move back to internal storage. If you maybe want to you know, carry on using the internal storage, or maybe you want to change to a bigger USB drive, this is where you'd move it back to your internal storage.
where I can launch the application just to show you that the applications do launch correctly from the USB drive. They won't be as quick as the internal storage, but maybe a couple of seconds delay for it to launch, but at least all of that space now, all of that data from this application will be on that USB drive and freeing up that valuable internal storage. So that really is the best and easiest way how you can expand the storage of your Fire Sticks and Fire TVs, and more importantly, move these unmovable applications over to those USB drives. Typically, any application you install from my website or from other third-party websites, they will automatically go to the internal storage. Is this applications that you download from the Amazon App Store? They're the ones that you'll have to use this workaround to get these apps moved over to the USB drive. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.